Just Wienermobile. <laughs> well, the reason everyone is stealing catalytic converters all across America is because under Biden's watch, then gas is so expensive, everyone needs the part that makes cars run more efficiently. And this just shows that no one's immune to it, including Wienermobiles. Mm. Uh, yeah. Catalytic converter theft is on the rise thanks to one man and one man only, Joe Biden. Isn't it crazy that as soon as he took office, thieves figured out that this particular part of a car was made up of extremely valuable materials and suddenly, in January of 2021, people started stealing them? If you watch Fox News, everything bad in the world is a simple equation of Democratic president plus bad thing that happened equals that Democratic president's fault. And sure, as the leader of our country, he is certainly responsible for many of the material challenges we face as Americans. But catalytic converter theft is certainly not one of them. It is true that catalytic converter theft is exploding due to the nature of the materials they are constructed with, which again did not just become valuable in 2021. Around 2018 actually is when thieves realized how valuable the materials are that make up catalytic converters. In fact, 2018 through 2020 saw the biggest increase in catalytic converter theft on record. But guess what did start to happen in 2021? A litany of state laws aimed at minimizing these thefts. Remind me, Fox News, who was president during those two timelines? Fox News does not want to focus on solutions, on the fact that Americans are starting to fight back against the problems that, let's be clear, exploded during the Trump administration. And mainstream liberal news does this as well, blame everything bad that happens on the president in power. But Fox tends to be a bit more ridiculous in this arena, and Joe Biden so far has refused to engage in it. There was speculation that Biden would sit down with Fox News in a pre-Super Bowl interview, continuing a years-long tradition of the president doing so before the network that hosted the big game. As we know, Joe Biden did not do so. This Politico article argues that this was a missed opportunity, not to persuade people who won't be persuaded, but, as the article puts it, to show Biden as, quote, a calm voice, politely but firmly pushing back. It couldn't hurt. And let's just say the Fox News regulars aren't taking it very well either. He is no Eagles running back in that case. Uh, Howie, look, he's fumbling a big opportunity, but he's also continuing the, the this administration's policies almost, their way of operating through spite and through pettiness. It just seems really petty and self-sabotage to not take the advantage to sit down with one of the Fox News anchors, I'm sure of their choosing. And, and bring that message to the entire country. You have a very self-selected and a very low-rated State of the Union this past week because people just don't want to listen to Joe Biden. I think the biggest thing that strikes me about these two videos, the blame for converter theft that started years before the Biden administration and Kellyanne Conway's snarky interview, is that the right really does not have a lot to go in on in their attacks on Joe Biden. You can hear it in her voice. Conway has lost the fire and vitriol that made her such a compelling political figure, who many saw as justifiably and righteously angry. But now it's just so tepid. Kind of how the Biden administration is going overall. Oh, his State of the Union speech wasn't highly rated. Who cares about TV ratings aside from Donald Trump? Fox News is clearly scrambling for something to blame on Joe Biden, and they're floundering. And to that, all I think we can say is Thanks, Biden. For more of my videos on The Breakdown, stay right here. You can watch my video on the Los Angeles Police Department cops being confronted over their undercover operations by clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.